so I make my living as a magician now. I just completed my 2,500th performance since age 11. I loved magic. I read every book in the Ames Public Library I could find on magic. I even stole a few of them because I didn't want other people to learn my secrets. But I had never seen a magician before. I'd never seen it, and I, not on TV, not, not live. Um, my only experience with magic was the magic that I had performed for people. And then one day, when I was 10, I learned that David Copperfield was coming to town. And he was the most famous magician in the world. And he was coming to Ames, Iowa. My memory of that night has nothing to do with the show. I don't really remember the performance. I remember two things. I remember seeing my parents. I just looked over at them. We were in the third row and they were watching the show. And they didn't look like adults. They looked like little kids. They were just beside themselves with astonishment. And I also remember this, this shocking awareness that the world was much bigger than I thought it had been, you know? Because when you grow up in Ames, Ames is your entire world. But then here was this hero of mine who had trapped, you know, he'd toured the world, he'd been on television. And there he was, C.Y. Stevens Auditorium, sort of blowing the whole town away. And, and I just thought, I want to do this forever. You know, I think most people in my profession want to go to Las Vegas or they want to sell out Madison Square Gardens and that's you know, both of those would be fine but if I'm honest what I really want in my career is to come back and do a show at CY Stevens that's that's the goal